and welcome, I'm your Kudma King, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity launch in November 25. This was really another banger month, lots of overwhelmingly positively reviewed games, there's a few with a near perfect score and even more that I didn't pick in this list. Here we have action games, we've got strategy games, adventure, management and a bunch more. The reason why I make these videos is to show you everything the engine can do, the only limit is really just your own skills and imagination, and the variety and the awesomeness of the games shown here really puts that to the test. All of these games are uniquely impressive so the list in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. Did you hear the story on how the game about digging a hole actually made millions of dollars? Or do you know how much is a Steam deal deal worth and how you might get one? Did you hear about the problem of making more money with assets and games? Or have you done this extremely important exercise? Those are all things that I covered in my Game Dev Report newsletter. It's what I write every single Sunday with any weekly Game Dev news and some interesting articles that I come across every week. Sign up for free with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off at number 10 with a really awesome desktop game called Desktop Defender. Nowadays, there are actually a bunch of these games around. This genre started off with Rusty's Retirement, which, by the way, fun fact, the developer actually said the game originally started because they saw my transparent Unity tutorial video. So anyways, here we have Desktop Defender, which is another game in this desktop genre. This one is a sort of tower defense game mixed with some idle elements. There is a tower in the middle and enemies come and try to attack it, but your tower is defending. It's very much an idle incremental game. The trailer clearly talks about how the game does not take your attention at all, that's very much a feature. The game just sits in the corner of the screen and automatically fights off enemies, so there's no need to click anywhere, there's no need to aim or focus. Over time you gain loot that grants you some better abilities, you can then ascend to gain even better upgrades and so on, so the usual incremental genre stuff. You can play with the size of the window and position it anywhere. Honestly the trailer really kind of undersells the game, it makes it seem very uninteresting, but visually it does seem quite interesting, definitely a very polished experience. And Importantly, players seem to love it. The game is just 5 bucks and is already finding quite a lot of success. It's got over 1000 reviews and yep, they are overwhelmingly positive. So yep, another tiny game that does just one thing and does it very well and players love it. Then here's one that finally launched after a very long time, it's Tavern Keeper. This one had a coming soon page live for 2 years and now is finally released. It's actually from the creators that made Game Dev Tycoon. This time you're running a medieval tavern. So it's a nice cozy management game with a very robust sandbox mechanics so you can build basically the tavern of your dreams. You do that while dealing with all kinds of customers, so some are well behaved and others not so much. Your goal is to keep them happy, make sure to separate your customers if they fight, make sure to clean up if they vomit, then build your tavern exactly the way you want it to be. Manage everything from your tavern, from the big things to the smallest minutia. Maybe the whole thing will go smoothly or maybe it will all turn to chaos, that's really up to you. A lot of people have been waiting for this game for a long time. Game Dev Tycoon, the game actually came out back in 2013 and they're only publishing their second game right now. This one just launched in early access and is already a huge hit. Over 3000 reviews, again at overwhelmingly positive. So it's a really great game if you want to run a medieval tavern and have some fun. Next up for some silly fun, here we have Dino Cop. Like the name implies, you're a dinosaur who is a cop. This is a world where dinosaurs were brought back to life and you're the cop assigned to track down and solve some dinosaur crime. So get on this new case, use your trusty magnifying glass to look for clues and identify objects, stake out all the characters in the dinosaur hotel, keep track of what each one is doing, there are many characters each with their own quirks, you investigate every area, use our binoculars to see what others are doing from a distance, gather all of your clues and try to find out who brought human meat to a dinosaur convention. The whole game looks like some silly good fun and yep people are enjoying it, it's got over 300 very positive reviews. Next up we have a really cool very inventive game called Fable Manga Build Roguelike. In this one you play as a manga writer writing some action. So basically you get into encounters with enemies and the way you actually fight is by building those manga panels. So you have your set of skills and attacks, which you can then drag onto the empty slots on the page, but also the panels, they have a specific shape. You can't just drag and drop everything, so the game has quite a bit of strategy as well. When you're done filling up everything, the action takes place and the fight takes a turn. You've got three separate characters, each with their own unique playstyle, their own unique abilities. So one, for example, is based on gunfire and melee. There's another one based on mobile attacks and one based on traps and bullets. The battles feature some very nice pixel art and all the manga panels, they look really gorgeous. This really looks like a very inventive game. I've never seen anything like it. It looks cool and it actually seems 
seems like it plays quite nicely. Honestly, I'm surprised this isn't a bigger hit. Right now, it's got 150 reviews at 93% positive, so the people that do play it, they do love this very interesting, very unique game. Next up, if you want to go to space, here is Re-Entry, a space flight simulator. This is a pretty serious space flight simulator based on NASA's space programs. There's a mountain of buttons and displays everywhere. You need to actually interact with all of those switches. Your goal is basically to figure how to get out into space and then back into Earth. And you do that by following some actual real procedures. Follow the real pre-flight checklist step by step. Then you rendezvous and dock on the space station. Again, all while using the controls exactly like they work in real life. This definitely seems like a very serious simulation game. It includes both fictional missions and missions that actually happen in real life. I'm actually surprised that such a simulator game, such a serious simulator game, is actually finding so much success. This one has likely already made over a million dollars in less than one month. It has got a thousand reviews at 97% positive. So yep, this one is basically universally beloved. Next up, here we have another nice incremental game. It is called Mactanless slime loot fest this one is very much an incremental game exactly the type of genre that is popular nowadays this one seems to be very well made as always you start off quite simple just dealing a tiny bit of damage to some tiny simple slimes then you buy some upgrades that lets you deal more and more damage after a bit you gain some skills that can chain projectiles like crazy and soon enough the whole thing is insane you've got tons of projectiles flying all over the place there are also multiple types of slimes there's lots of regular ones and some special shinies so it is very much a game just to enjoy yourself for a few short hours and that's it. The game is out now with 500 very positive views. Then here we have a nice indie game sequel. It's Moonlighter 2 The Endless Vault. The original game was actually a pretty big hit back in 2018. It was a nice unique game and this one uses very much of the same formula. It's basically a game with two sides. So first it's an RPG where you go out and fight off all kinds of creatures and then you return back home back to your shop in order to sell your loot. Over time you grow your shop, you play around with weapons and gadgets, and then dive deeper into harder and harder dungeons. The shop needs to be very well built as well. It's really up to you to set up how it's all organized. You can decide all the prices and really score the perfect deal. As you make money, you can also invest in the other townsfolk so they can give you better items and equipment. So the game has a nice repeatable loop where you go out, defeat enemies, get loot, get money and keep improving. In these sequels are pretty rare, so it's nice to see one that is finding quite a bit of success. This one just launched into early access and already has over a thousand very positive reviews. So if you want to fight enemies and run a shop, if so, then give this a try. Next up, run your own paper company with News Tower. This is a nice management game with side view. Your goal is to become a newspaper tycoon. The game is set in the 30s. You run a printing company and you have to basically build it up from scratch. You equip your offices with the finest technology that the 1930s has to offer. Make sure your staff has a nice place to work. It's also up to you to decide what stories are you going to write about. So will you go for hard-hitting journalism or some sensationalist gossip? The choice is really up to you, but there are also other newspapers in town, although perhaps you might be able to make them disappear. You start off with a simple empty floor, then expand your office, making it bigger and bigger to support more and more staff. The game has been out in early access for a while, and right now just hit 1.0. In all that time, it gathered 2,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews, so yep, this one seems to be one of the better recent tycoon games. Then for something quite a bit more chill, here we have My Little Puppy. You play as a cute corgi who is basically in heaven, and the goal is to go back to your owner who also just landed in heaven. It's a journey across some very beautiful vistas and some challenging environments. The game is really absolutely gorgeous. It's really just joyful to look at. So many colors, everything looks so good. This adventure involves you talking to other dogs and also a bunch of humans. But remember how you are a dog. So run around, sniff, bark, jump, and really do everything that dogs do. It really looks like a fun, very good time. It is out now and has 500 very positive reviews. And at number one for my personal pick of the month, here we have Cleared Hot. This one looks really awesome. I've been following gifts of this game on Twitter and Reddit for several years, I think. It always looks really awesome. This is very much an old school helicopter game. I remember playing Soviet Strike on my PlayStation as a kid. I believe this is very much inspired by that. It definitely has a nice dose of nostalgia. The game is super well made. Everything looks satisfying. You can man your helicopter and go into action, dodge missiles in midair, pick up cars and drop them off somewhere. You can fire your own missiles and bullets to take out all the enemies. There's plenty of action to choose from. You can also choose from eight different playable helicopters. You can play in the day, play some night missions, all of them across three biomes. The main thing is really how the helicopter looks like it's so satisfying to play. It looks like it has some excellent controls. Based on the reviews, it looks like it is indeed very well made 
made in just two weeks, it already has 1600 reviews at 98% positive. That's basically a perfect score. And it achieved that despite the fact that it's actually in early access. Nowadays, players don't really trust early access, so the fact that this one is in early access and has such good reviews, that is a very, very good sign. They also have a robust roadmap detailing all the chapters until the 1.0 release. So if you just want to blow some stuff up, or if you're feeling some nostalgia, if so, then give this a shot. Alright, so that's 10 awesome new games made in Unity and launched in November 25. I hope this list helped you see how the Unity engine is capable of building anything. The only limits are really just your own skills and your imagination. Check out my own game, Dinky Guardians, and I hope you enjoy playing it.